Much of West African music centers on the harmonious tension of an odd and even rhythm played together, yin and yang, male and female. Let's hear this rhythm. The, the top rhythm is in six and the bottom is in two. We can count it. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's hear a basic African rhythm in six on the cymbal, and we're gonna keep the two going on the bass drum. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. You hear that? One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three. Okay, the two is gonna stay the same on the bass drum, but let's hear how the American shuffle simplified the African six. So Ali is gonna start with the African six, then he's gonna go into six eight, then the six, then show you our shuffle rhythm. your entire life. That's where it came from. Our, deriva our derivation is called the shuffle, the shuffle rhythm. Even today, a large bulk of American music is played to this rhythm. It's also why slave fiddlers were attracted to the Irish jig. Yes, the liberated slave was at the heart of the music of freedom, and who better to embody freedom than one who had yearned for it for so long? 